that would prevent all the wrinkles from coming and all the ones that are here to go away. What that would wrinkles? be bliss. What, what wrinkles? wrinkles? That would be what bliss. What wrinkles? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry, you were going to say? No, I was going to say the two Ronnies had that idea of uh, a jar of penicillin for the girl who has everything. So <laughs> what? <was> that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. This time of night, I bet. So, no, I, I, I ain't got a clue what I'm going to get this Christmas. I tend to uh, shop mainly in Tower Records or Virgin because I keep them going a pair of them. So uh, I've been, I was actually told as far back as September, don't buy anything for Christmas because you're rotten to buy for. So I ain't bought anything since then. So anything, any records that have come out since then. I would especially like one of these, Michael, which is a little pot for the ashes of your dead pet. Oh, oh lovely. Oh. Thank you. Well, that's all we have ah. time for this week. Thanks to Gloria and everyone else. See you next week. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Christmas, LWT opens up a special package of entertainment, the Dame Edna Christmas Experience. Welcome to my show, Rog. <laughs> Thank you, Dame Ed. <laughs> From one famous Australian to another, Clive James in the land of the rising waistline, a two-part special, Clive James in Japan. And join me for the brand new It'll Be All Right on Christmas Night. <laughs> There's a room full of suspects for Inspector Morse to interview, starring John Thor. And where were you between those times, madam? Ask Dr. Kemp. Jonathan Ross here. As a last resort, I've been reduced to recording a programme with Bobby Davro, and it comes out on Boxing Day, so don't forget to watch. Scylla's Blind Date. Is he a yuppie? No. <laughs> but these three guys do have a lot in common. All is revealed this Christmas in a special package of entertainment on L. WT. Everybody's got a favorite, favorite down in the quality street. Favorite, favorite down in quality street. The lid is off the new Courts Mammoth Superstore. Discover the fantastic choice of furniture, bedding, and carpets at the Tunnel Estate West Thurrock. Now open. Introducing the Remington Microscreen Ultimate with the exclusive beard lifter that gets whiskers other shavers leave behind. And like all Remington Microscreen shavers, the first screen shaves incredibly close, the second even closer. The new Remington Ultimate shaves as close as a blade and closer than any other electric shaver or your money back. Test prove it. Don't throw away your favorite clothes because they look worn. Wait. Save them with the Remington Fuzz Away. It safely removes pills and fuzz. The Remington Fuzz Away. And it's my heart that's breaking Down this long distance line tonight I ain't missing you at all Since you've been gone I ain't missing you No matter what my friends say when my company asked me if I'd like to work in Paris, why, I jumped at the chance. I didn't realize they meant Paris, Texas. Just look at the place. Thank heavens for Monterey, a delightfully bittersweet blend of white wine, brandy, and a subtle tang of orange. My only other pleasure is reading the weather reports. Monterey, for those bittersweet moments. Continental holidays can really begin in style with P&O European Ferries.
Why sail across the channel when you can cruise across? Tonight at 8 on LWT, there's drama in The Bretts. Big problems for a troubled family. Why do you blame Gene? I blame myself. What do you know about it? Gene and I were very close. Maybe she needed to talk and I wasn't there. I don't want any more to do with him. And Martha, you must swear not to tell anyone else. Why did she leave? Had to, boy, didn't you know? It's all happening in The Bretts. Family drama for tonight at 8 on LWT. Welcome to the show. Why, what a colourful lot. Welcome to our first four tenants in contestants row, looking resplendent in their Price is Right gold medals, not to mention all the other gear they're wearing. And they're also going to go home not only with the medals, but this year's novelty, our Price is Right teddy bear. Each contestant will get one of those. A souvenir of the happy times they've spent with us. Tracy, welcome to contestants row, all the way from Liverpool. <laughs> A very reserved area, as you can see. <laughs> Tracy, what do you do for a living, if anything? I work in Barclays Bank. You work in Barclays Bank? <laughs> Good. Well, that's got that out of the way. Right. <laughs> Patrick, from London. <laughs> and where do you work, sir? I work for an airline. An airline? Which one? Uh, the world's favourite. The world's favourite? <laughs> right, <laughs> that's enough. No more, no more. The Isabella. You, well, you obviously, and you are from Northop in North Wales. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely to see you, and you obviously have some connection with the NSPCC. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. Yes. You work for them, do you? Uh, no, I help out doing some uh, charity work. You know, getting some money for the kiddies. That's right, yeah. but you haven't got a Welsh accent. No, <laughs> no. You're in the wrong place, mate. But it's lovely oh, to see yes, you, sir. You're in the right place now, and that's all oh, that yes. matters. <laughs> now then, Karen. I love that outfit, honey. <laughs> May I just tell you that when you take your hat off, you give the game away, because I know that ponytail is false now, isn't it? <laughs> that's right, isn't it? That's, oh, oh, it isn't a ponytail. I'm saying it like a ponytail. Lovely. From Nottingham. That's right. And what's yeah. the name? <laughs> what's the name of this club then? Well, we're from all the clubs around the area. All the, yeah. all the country and western clubs. Yeah. Well, hell of a good to see you, honey. <laughs> Great. Please, will you concentrate mightily as the conceivable price of this? A U-Drum Table. 
Here's a pretty little drum table for lamp or flowers. It's made from solid yew wood with elegant black line decoration and has two useful drawers. There you are, one new drum table. I want the price of that. You get one bid each of the end the nearest without going over, wins the table and joins me to play any number. But if you go over, you bust. But this can be yours if the price is right. Tracy, your bid. 120 pounds, says Tracy. Patrick, what do you think? 97. 97 pounds is Patrick's opinion. 101. 101 pounds of fun. Thank you, Isabella. How about you, Karen? What do you think? 149. Pardon me? 149. 149 pounds, says Karen. Good. The price we're looking for is 110 pounds, Isabella! <laughs> You've got so much dangling around your yeah. middle, you don't know where you are. Yeah. Now tell me, why is a Scottish lady living in Wales? Well, I married a Welshman. Oh, that'll do, that'll do. <laughs> yeah. yes. Enough said. It's lovely yes. to see you, and I'm sure you do tremendous work for the NSPCC. Yeah. You won that beautiful U table. That drum table is yours, Isabella. Oh. Oh, yeah. We would also like you to win this. A fridge freezer. This super fridge freezer is narrow enough to fit into a small space in your kitchen, but it has a roomy four cubic foot freezer and a 3.5 cubic foot fridge plus an integral chilled drinks dispenser. Or perhaps, Isabella, you would rather win this. A MIDI system. This high quality MIDI system stands on its own pedestal and features a twin tape deck, a three band radio and a record turntable plus separate speakers. There you are, Isabella. Isabella, when we bought the mini hi-fi system in the fridge freezer, we put the change in that piggy bank. Piggy bank, even. Not a lot of change, as you can see by the dreaded decimal point and this awful noise. Oh, it is disastrous. Now, the price of the two prizes and the amount of change in the piggy bank are covered, Isabella, by the numbers one to nine, and they only occur once. When you call out any one of those numbers, it will immediately appear in its correct place on the board. And the price you complete first is the prize you win. I'm sure you'd like to win that. Uh, you've told me you'd like to win that, but I know you want nothing to do with old Piggo. No, Not the <laughs> porker. <something> else. <laughs> yes, well, yes, yeah. well, if you play it correctly, you will. First of all, give me what you think is one of the numbers in the price of the MIDI Hi-Fi system. And one to nine. Uh, two. Two. Two are. Ah, you're one third of the way to the fridge freezer. The object of your desire. Give me another number. Give me another number. Three. Three. Now you're one third of the way to the MIDI Hi-Fi system. Now give me another number that you think might feature in either of those. Uh, nine. Nine. Oh, two thirds of the way to the MIDI Hi-Fi system. And another number. Six. Six. Oh. One third of the way to the piggy bank. Now just think very carefully about the sort of... And they're trying to help you out there. Four. Two thirds of the way to the fridge freezer. And one more number. Five. Yes, you've got a wanted. Well, you did it. May we see the price of the mini hi-fi system for the sake of the curious. Thank you very much. And also the dreaded amount down there. Lovely. Well, isn't that good? Oh, yes. While they were describing the prizes, you actually said that the fridge freezer was what you wanted. Yes, it was. Uh -huh. And this is true. Yeah. Well, it's yours. You won That's it. Nice. Isabella, do I have a chat with Judy? We'll see you later. Isn't that really nice? Very good. Thank you very much indeed, Cindy. One empty space in the row now to be filled by... David Glover! Come on down! You are our next contestant on the Rival Drive. David, all the way from Tidworth. Yep. Originally from Tidworth, 
No, from Yorkshire, Huddersfield. From Yorkshire, Huddersfield. Aye. Tell the viewers what you do, sir. With the forces. Yes, which particular regiment? The Armoured Corps, Scots DG. The Scots. <laughs> Good lad. You're very welcome to the show, and you're all welcome to give me your prices on this. A round copper stew pot. Top chefs swear by copper for its even cooking, and this stew pot is the best you can get. And it also looks good enough to go straight from the oven to the table. There you are. One copper stew pot. Yours is the first bid, David. 62. 62 pounds, says David. Karen, what do you think? 85. 85 pounds, says Karen. Good. Tracy, how about you? 72. 70 pounds, says Tracy from Liverpool. Patrick from London thinks it might be? 87. 87 pounds, says Patrick from London. <laughs> you know what it means. It means that somebody has hit the nail on the head. The price we're looking for is 85 pounds, Karen! <laughs> pounds is yours oh. and the copper pan is yours and we sincerely hope that one of these four prizes will be yours a radio cassette a microwave a remote color tv and a vhs video recorder This game is called Escalator, Karen, because those prizes are an escalating or ascending order of price. Listen to a more detailed description of the radio cassette, the least expensive item. This super radio cassette player in a brilliant yellow finish features a double tape deck, a five speaker system and a four band radio for the very best in portable sounds. There you are. The least expensive of the items, I want your price on that, and if the price that you give me is, in, is within £30 above or £30 below the actual price of the item, we will move to the first floor and have a look at the microwave. And if it isn't, the game stops right here. Understood? Yeah. £30 above or £30 below, what is your price for the... What is your price... pounds that is your price the actual price is 100 pounds a difference of 10 pounds that's good very good we now proceed to the first floor karen there's the first floor the escalator is working and now listen to the description of the microwave this compact microwave has variable power control for defrost or simmer and a rotating turntable to cook all foods evenly there you go, one microwave. Now this time, I want the price of that microwave within 40 pounds above or 40 pounds below the actual price of the item. However, you can, if you want, forget all about the microwave and accept the radio cassette. But if you do that, of course, then that is the prize you take. Or you reject the radio cassette and have a go at the microwave. Within 40 pounds above or 40 pounds below, what is your price on the microwave? 160. 160. That's your price. The actual price is 180. A difference of 20 pounds, yes, of course. You've done it. And up we go. Right, now we're on the second floor. Listen to the description of the colour TV. No need to get up out of your seat with this colour television. Each of its 12 channels can be changed by remote control. And it has a 14-inch monitor-style screen. Good. Now then, if you want to have a go at the colour TV, I want your price within a range of £50 above or £50 below. Or you can reject the colour TV and take home the microwave. You're going for the colour TV. Within £50 above or £50 below, what is your price on the colour TV? £50. £250 is your price. The actual price is... £247. A difference of £3. That's wonderful. Wow, this is great. Now we go to the top floor. Wonderful. What? It needs oiling, that blooming lift, right. 
The video recorder. Listen to the description of that. You can record up to four programs over a period of 14 days with this smart video recorder. So you can go off on holiday and still come back to your favorite programs. Good. Now, if you wish to have a go at the video recorder, I need your price within £60 above or £60 below. And if it is, then you've won the video recorder. Or you can forget about that and take the colour TV. I'll take the colour TV and stop <laughs> You're going to accept the colour TV? Yeah, because yeah, my daughter wants one. Your duck? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> your daughter wants a colour television set? Yeah, but I'm so Well, that's very out. nice. Very nice. <laughs> very good. The colour television set is yours, and you don't need to know about the price of the video recorder at all. Thank you very much indeed. Go over there. Jilly will look after you. She looks after everybody. See you later. Very good indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Cindy. And Dora Jones, come on down. Who are our next contestant on The Price is Right? There she is. There you are, Dora. Hello, Dora. Hello. <laughs> Very nice to see you. Thank you. It's lovely. Now, tell us about yourself. We know that you come from Flint, yes. which is in Wales. <laughs> Without putting too fine a point on it, one of our more senior contestants. Thank you. That's lovely, and very lovely, too. Very lovely. Now then, are you a, are you a granny? Yes, a granny six times, and a great granny seven times. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're very welcome to Contestant Row. Now, here is an absolutely superb item, and we want you to listen very closely to this description. A Chinese leather pillow box. This charming leather pillow box is decorated with oriental birds and chrysanthemums. Use it for storing gloves and scarves, a useful and graceful addition to your bedroom. Your first bid, Dora. Me. A hundred pounds. One hundred pounds, says Dora. Thank you very much indeed. Tracy from Liverpool, what do you think? Eighty-five pounds, says Tracy. Patrick, what do you think? Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven, says Patrick. Now then, David. One hundred and five. One hundred and five pounds, says David. The price we're looking for is one hundred and thirty-one pounds, David. <laughs> Kidworth, that's in Hampshire, isn't it? Yes, on the Hampshire Wiltshire border. Ah, super. Good to see you. We want you, when we play Master Key, David, to win, and you'll certainly have the chance to, both these items. A camera outfit and a set of tapestry luggage. <laughs> this quality camera incorporates a 50mm lens, plus a computerised flash gun to take the guesswork out of difficult light conditions. And there's a handy gadget bag for all the accessories. Here's luggage that's both practical and distinctive. Three roomy cases in beautiful yet hard-wearing tapestry fabric with sturdy zips and carrying handles. In the game of Master Key, David, there aren't two prizes, there are three prizes, and this is the third. Seven days in a country where the sun simply never stops shining, Gambia on the west coast of Africa. This latest holiday destination has everything. Long, sandy beaches, hours of hot sunshine, and colorful local traditions. You can go shopping for brightly colored mats or beautiful basketware, or visit one of the workshops to see the craftsmen at work. It's a glimpse into a different culture, but you'll feel completely at home with the service and the hospitality. And in the evening, there's lots to do, including some very energetic entertainment. A week sunning yourself while England shivers on this super Price is Right winter break in Gambia. Three prizes, sir. Three prizes, three locks, five feet. 
One of the keys opens all the locks, one of the keys opens none of the locks, and the other three keys each open one lock. Now, David, because you've come from contestants' row, you've won the automatic choice of one key. Choose one of the colours. The green one. I will hold on to that for the moment. Now, we are going to give you up to two chances to win one more key. Listen to these descriptions. This pretty little sweet jar would look equally good on your dressing table or your desk. It has an oriental pattern and a decorative lid. This charming lamp in white china has a classical shape and a floral design and comes with a matching white shade. Now, sir, the first prize, prize rather, or little puzzle prize, is priced at 20 pounds. I want you to tell me whether that vase, vase, or vase, or urn, or whatever it is, is priced correctly at 20 pounds, or should the correct price be higher or lower? <laughs> lower, we think. Please tell us, Carol, it's higher. <laughs> so you've lost one chance of another key. Now then, this table lamp and shade, 35 pounds might be the correct price, or is the correct price higher or lower? <laughs> Choices. Higher. Higher, please tell us, Carol. Oh, it is correct. You have one key. It might be the key that opens all the locks. It might, unfortunately, be the key that opens none of the locks. It might be the key that opens one of the locks. Try that key in the first lock. You know it opens that one. It might open that one. It might be the key that opens all the locks. It is! It is! Do the other one. Oh! Oh, yes! What a thing! So, sir, you have won the suitcases. You have won the camera. And you're going to Gambia, sir. But before that, you're going to have a chat with Carol. We'll see you. That's wonderful. Well, we know who the first three finalists are going to be in Showcase Showdown. Who will join them? Join us in a few moments and we'll all find out. See you. It's Christmas time in the Texas Bargain Hunt 87. This Viceroy workbench is incredible value at just $19.99. And this Bosch electronic hammer drill with a free cable wheel is only $54.95. Merry Christmas from the Texas Bargain Hunt 87. Squirt, squirt, squirt. That's a hat trick. Anchor Real Dairy Cream, perfect for Christmas. Christmas gifts for your handyman from Black & Decker. With our Quattro drill, he can drive into anything, almost as if it isn't there at all. Or get him the scroller so he won't have to cut corners. There's a workmate that'll stand by him through thick and thin. Or introduce him to something different, our unique power file. Or why not really surprise him and get him a stripper for Christmas? Tough tools to last this Christmas and many, many more. Richard. I'm on tour far away from home, and I do miss you. Pretty one, I long to hold you through the night. I want to hold you. 
I'm away, but I'll be back. So don't forget me. me. Of course, the thing I miss most is people. people. So I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and don't spend it alone. Don't be alone this Christmas. Get the new Cliff Richard album, always guaranteed. Go and stand between Patrick and Dora. Dora will look after you. That's great. Hi, Robert. All the way from Kendall. Yes. Very good. What do you do up there in Kendall, sir? Um, bread. Uh, <laughs> bread. <laughs> he doesn't know what he does. What do you? What? Delivery driver. You're a delivery driver. Is it bread? Yes. Oh, well, it is. <laughs> you were right. It's as well to know what you deliver, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well done, Robert. Welcome to the row, and we want your prices on that. A three-armed glass chandelier. A glittering focal point for your dining room or sitting room, this exquisite Louis Kahn style chandelier sparkling with a hundred cut glass drops. Well, they're all getting very energetic advice. Robert, what do you think? 109. 109 pounds, says Robert. Dora, what do you think? 125. 125 pounds, says Dora, after much deliberation. Tracy, what do you think? 115. 115 pounds, says Tracy. Good. Patrick. Patrick? 127. 127 pounds, says Patrick. The price we're looking for is 117 pounds. Tracy, you're out of the road. Are you married? No. No? You got a boyfriend? No. Oh, well, that's all right. It's only that conversation. Good. Tracy might start another one. You never know. Tracy, we are going to play switcheroo, and we'd very much like you to win these four prizes. A wrought iron wine stand and glasses, a silver-plated oval dish, a pair of kitchen scales, and a six-jar spice rack. And, Tracy, we also want you to win this. A Davenport and Hi-Fi equipment. <laughs> this handsome reproduction Davenport and mahogany finish with a green leather insert would be a fine piece of furniture in its own right. But it opens up to reveal its real use as a cabinet for this super Hi-Fi system, including tape deck, amplifier, freeband radio, and record turntable. Tracy? Prizes and five prizes. There's a list of the prizes. Spice rack, antique scale, silver dish, wine stand and glasses, and hi-fi equipment. There are their corresponding prices with one number missing from each. Tracy, those are the missing numbers. We want you to put them back where you think they ought to go. You have up to 30 seconds to do it, and those you get right, you keep. 30 seconds to win all those prizes starting now. <laughs> Has Tracy got right? Three. <laughs> However, Tracy, this game is called Switcheroo because we're going to give you the chance to switch round. Bearing in mind, however, that of the three you have assessed correctly, Tracy, one of them might be the price of the hi fi equipment or it might not. It is your decision, and if you want to change anything at all, you have up to 30 seconds to do it, starting now. <laughs> Good. Okay, Tracy. Now then, how many has Tracy assessed correctly now? Two. Two. 
Of the two that you have assessed correctly, I presume that one of them should be the high Park women, so far as you're concerned. Yes, yes, of course you hope so. So we don't want all those to be right. Well, they can't all be right. Spice Rack, please tell us about that, Carol. Thank you very much. You've won the Spice Rack. The Antica Scales, tell us about that. We don't want that to be right. It is, unfortunately. Tell us about the Silver Dish. 43 and the wine stand and glasses, 33 and the hi-fi equipment was 555 pounds, all the fives. You have, however, two extra prizes to go with the other prize you won, a chat with Carol and a chance to be in the showcase final. You never know. Very good. Thank you very much indeed, Cindy. Jason Alexis, come on down. Hello, Jason. Hello. From Ashford. That's correct. Do you also work for that airline that he was trying to publicize earlier? The same world's best. That's the correct, same yes. one. That's, that's right. very good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Please give us your opinions as to the price of this. A cane obelisk. You can use this charming cane obelisk to display plants, flowers, or ornaments. Its light and delicate lines will grace any room in the house. And to get your collection off to a start, some charming pink and white china, including a potpourri bowl, two candle holders, and a ewer and basin. Right, Jason, yours is the first bid. What might it be on all those items? 110. 110. Thank you, Jason. Patrick, what do you think? 81. 81. 81, says Patrick. Robert. Robert. 125. 125, says Robert. Dora? 112. 112 pounds, says Dora. The price that we're looking for is 138 pounds. Robert! Well, brace yourself, Robert. If you win these, you're going to have to. <laughs> Robert. We want you to go round the streets of Kendall. Are you married? Yes. With your wife. <laughs> On these. Two superb bicycles. This snazzy little bike in a pearly pink color is just the thing for keeping you fit while you do the shopping. It has a roomy front carrier and shopping basket. For a spin in the country, this tourer bike is traditionally elegant has easy-to-use three-speed gears, a super way to get those muscles working. Two delightful bicycles, two prizes, and a list of five prices. 110 pounds, 125, 145, 160, and 175 pounds. The two prices for those two prizes lie side by side, somewhere in that run of five, and we're going to give you two chances to find them, okay? It might be this pair, 110 and 125, or 125 and 145, or 145 and 160, or 160 and 175, but it's certainly one of those pairs, okay? What I'm going to do is to start sliding this indicator along, and I'm going to give you every chance to Tell me to stop where you think I ought to stop, all right? Here we go. <laughs> right. £125 for the ladies' bicycle, £145 for the gents' bicycle. Is that right or wrong? It is wrong. <laughs> now then. That's not right for that, and that's not right for that. On the other hand, that might be right for that, or that might be right for that. If you think that is right for that, then we come back here, but only if you're convinced that £110 is the correct price for the ladies' bicycle. On the other hand, you might like to go the other way, or you might like to go right to the other end. It's up to you. Go along. You go along. A very controlled and cultured stop, if I might say so, Robert. 145 and 160. Just come here. That's it. Yeah! Absolutely right. Well done. Oh, you're going to be a right pair away round Pendling that. Chili's going.
going to look after you. She can't wait. There, Robert, all the way from Cumbria. Thank you very much indeed, Cindy. And uh, Brian Elvidge, come on down. You are our next contestant on the Price of Right. Hello. Brian, hello, Brian. Thank you for your nice welcome. All the way from Doncaster? Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you do in Doncaster, sir? Uh, work in the post office. In the post office? Yes. Very good. A good lad. We want you, all of you, to give us your opinions as to the price of this very sophisticated item. A caviar bowl. Caviar is best served chilled, so here's a graceful bowl complete with ice compartments to keep your caviar nice and cool. Well, there you go. One caviar bowl, bowl and whoever wins this has the caviar to go with it, just to start you off. We only want the price of the caviar bowl. Brian, what do you think? 85. 85 pounds, says Brian. Dora? I say 86. 86 pounds, says Dora. Thank you very much indeed, Dora. Jason, what do you think? 100. 100 pounds, says Jason. Patrick, who's been there ever since the show started, what do you think? 101. What, oh, what a cunning bid, sir. Patrick, who's been there forever, 101 pounds is his bid. The price we're looking for is 110 pounds. Patrick! <laughs> this way, sir. <laughs> there. Good to see you. You've done it. Yeah, I do. You're right. There you are, Patrick. You've won that delightful caviar bowl. As I said, we're going to give you that little tub of caviar just to start you off. The rest you've got to buy for yourself. Patrick, we want you also <laughs> to win these three prizes. An electric hostess tray, a decorative kettle, and an automatic washing machine. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner parties with this slimline hostess tray. It'll keep food and plates warm until you're ready so you can spend time with your guests. This outsized kettle can't actually be put on the stove, but it would look lovely in your kitchen filled with a pot plant or cut flowers. This super automatic front-loading washing machine has 20 programs to choose from, including half fill and a full 10-pound capacity. Now then, Patrick, we're going to concentrate first on the hostess folly as we play 10 chances. The hostess, hostess trolley, which is priced at two figures, choosing two, thank you, Judy, choosing two of those three numbers there, write me down what you think is the price of the hostess trolley. <laughs> Nine. No, you can't. Nine, four, ninety-four. Come here, don't back away. That's it. No, no. Right or wrong? Wrong. May we move along, please? You now have nine chances to win the three prizes. It's got to be a different permutation. You're still on the hostess trolley, all right? Right or wrong? Right! <laughs> you now have eight chances left to win the Willow Patton Kettle and the washing machine. Thank you very much indeed. Judy, seven, eight, nine, three numbers there, but it's a two-figure price. Give me two of those three numbers and write down the price of the kettle. There we are. Right or wrong? That's right. <laughs> Very good. Now comes the tricky bit. Thank you very much, Judy. The washing machine priced at three figures. Choosing three of those four numbers there, right down the price of the washing machine. And you have seven chances left. Any 
time for that'll do. <laughs> two eight nine, two hundred and eighty nine. Is that right or wrong? It's right. supposed to go on forever. It's always, oh, yes. You go, you practice. All those prizes are yours. So is a chat with Judy, and we will see you later, Patrick. Yeah. Well, we now know who the six finalists are going to be in Showcase Showdown. Only two will go forward to our Showcase final. We regretfully have to say goodbye to the three contestants who never left Contestants Row, including the delightful great-grandmother, Dora. Bless her heart. <laughs> they take with them their Price is Right teddy bears, and I know that you will join us in a few moments. See you. is off the new Courts Mammoth Superstore. Discover the fantastic choice of furniture, bedding and carpets at the Tunnel Estate West Thurrock, now open. The last detail. Aftershave by Pierre Cardin. Everyone's heard about Anchor Butter. Well, here's a story about another. Fat Anchor is the name. Tastes like butter, just the same. It's hot, but Anchor, it's brand new. It's low in fat, so it's good for you. Lieutenant's name. I was between cases, so I stopped off at the sink in. The place was swimming over. I asked the barman for a tenant's pilsner. The cool taste was music inside me. So I asked for another. Anne introduced me to her sister, Candy Floss. Funny, I felt kind of hungry. She told me she had a problem. I had a choice. My tenant's pilsner or Candy's case. It was close, but not that close. Tenants Pilsner. It's good, but <laughs> not that good. Our contribution to the jumble sale. Oh, marvelous. Come on, I've just made coffee. But, Pat, this isn't Nescafe. Oh, it probably is Nescafe, but in a different jar. Oh, no. Nescafe don't make coffee for anyone else. You're right. Only Nescafe has that special blend and roast for that richer, smoother taste. That's Nescafe, all right. And this, let's forget it, shall we? She's got the message. <laughs> Nescafe don't make coffee for anyone else. because the lady loves milk tray. In tonight's showcase showdown are Isabella Wall from Northrop, North Wales, Karen Duggan from Nottingham, David Glover from Tipworth in Hampshire, Tracy Elliott from Liverpool, Robert Howard from Kendall in Cumbria, Patrick Walters from London. Hi, welcome back. Before we go any further, of our six finalists, David, the, the, the total value of prizes that you have won so far is the greatest, David, £987. Well, those prizes are yours, but as you very well know, we're going to match the sum of money that they represent and give it to this week's nominated charity, which is a branch of the Compassionate Friends in Bristol, an organisation of bereaved parents offering friendship, help and understanding to other bereaved parents. So you're helping them. <laughs> and 
And this week's raffle pack, which includes a Price is Right teddy bear, two Price is Right sweatshirts, and a Christmas hamper, goes to the NSPCC in Cluid in Wales. And they're here tonight. And we sincerely hope, Isabella, that you and your friends will be able to raise a lot of money for your very worthy cause. Good. Now then, tonight's elimination game is called Shopping Basket, and this is how we play it. I'm going to show you up to four shopping baskets, one at a time, and in each case, I want the total value of the, of the goods in that particular basket. In each round, the contestant whose answer is furthest away from the correct answer sits down and is eliminated. In the event of a tied losing answer, both contestants are eliminated. And in the event of this happening, when there are only three of you left, then we play a tiebreaker. At the end of the game, the two contestants left standing go forward to our showcase final. Right? Well, first of all, we went to a garden center and we bought this. One hand fork and trowel, one pack of 25 daffodil bulbs, one spray bug gun, one box of lawn food, one litre of barbecue lighter fluid, one bottle of multi-purpose fertiliser, and one oscillating lawn sprinkler. The total value of the contents of that particular basket from the garden centre in pounds and pence. Five seconds to write down your answer starting now. Isabella, tell me and show me your answer. Ten pounds fifty. Thank you very much, darling. Karen, tell me. Nineteen pounds. Thank you, Karen. David. Twenty-three pounds fifty. Thank you very much. Tracy, what do you think? Thirty-five pounds. Thirty-five pounds, says Tracy. Robert. Twenty-seven sixty. Thank you, Robert. Twenty-seven sixty. Patrick. Twenty-eight seventy. Twenty-eight seventy-five pounds. The correct answer is twenty-three pounds forty-four. And I regret, Isabella, you must sit down. <laughs> Still smiling. Good. Next, we went to an electrical shop, and this is what we bought. One six-meter cable reel, one fluorescent hand lantern, one pack of 10 40-watt light bulbs, one mini jug kettle, one six-volt battery, and one four-way extension socket. The total value, please, of the items in that particular basket in pounds and pence. Five seconds to write down your answer, starting now. Karen? Karen, tell me and show me your answer. 31.50. Thank you, darling, 31.50. David, tell me and show me. 35 pounds. Thank you, David, 35 pounds. Tracy? 39 pounds. 39 pounds. Thank you, Tracy. Robert, tell me and show me. 32.25. 32.25. Thank you, Robert. Very close, all these. Patrick? 30 pounds, 55. Thank you, Patrick. 30 pounds, 55. The correct answer is 38 pounds, 77 pence. Patrick, I fear you must sit down. Here yeah, you've done very well. Four contestants left. We went to a cook shop. One cook shop, and this is what we bought. One terracotta fruit juice jug, one small thermos flask, one stainless steel egg beater, one china teapot, one copper jelly mold, one small casserole dish and lid. All those items from the cook shop. Your answer in pounds and pence, the total value of the items in that cook shop. Five seconds to write down your answer starting now. <laughs> write your answers down. Karen, tell me and show me. 32.50. Thank you, darling. 32 pounds 50. David, sir. 28 pounds. Thank you, David. 28 pounds. Tracy. 28.50. 28 pounds 50, says Tracy. Robert, what do you say? 33.40. 33 pounds 40, says Robert. Thank you. The correct answer is 26 pounds 68. And I fear that Robert, he knows, he's got to sit down. Three contestants left. Only two can go forward to our showcase final. This question should sort them out. We went to a chemist shop, all right? And this is what we bought. One flip-over photograph album. One litre of cream foam bath. One bottle of Lucasade. 
one tub of 70 baby wipes, two cans of hairspray, two packs of 125 color film, one two-speed hairdryer, all those items from the chemist's shop. Your answer in pounds and pence. Five seconds to write down your answer starting now. Five seconds isn't a very long time. Thank you very much indeed. Karen, tell me and show me. 25 pounds. Thank you, Karen, 25 pounds. David, what do you say? 24 pounds. 24 pounds, says David. Tracy? 24 pounds, 50. 24 pounds, 50, says Tracy. The correct answer is 20 pounds, 94. Karen, I fear you must sit down. David and Tracy, stay where you are. You are both in our showcase final. Tracy, our two finalists, David all the way from Tidworth, or stationed at Tidworth anyway. Great with the armed forces. Tracy, a little worried about the chandelier, but all the way from Liverpool and a lovely lady. With all your friends. David, as you were the first of our finalists to join me from Contestants Row, yours is the choice of either bidding on the first showcase or passing the honours to Tracy and bidding on the second showcase. None of these decisions can you, of course, decide until you have seen the first showcase. And your showcase tonight starts with an unusual luxury, a water softener. The size of a pedal bin, it'll fit easily into a corner of your kitchen. The results are simply wonderful. Soft water means softer clothes, plus big reductions in your running costs. Now, while the plumber and electrician are fitting it, why not ask them to stay and install this lot? Everything you need for the ideal labor-saving kitchen. First, a deluxe dishwasher with five programs, including one specially for saucepans. Next, a spanking new washing machine with a choice of 21 programs. And to get that lot dry, a tumble dryer with a cool tumble facility to cut down on ironing. And to make meal planning simple, there's a fridge freezer with plenty of space for all your fresh and frozen foods, all finished in a matching soft almond color. And finally, to make sure your kitchen is perfectly equipped, Here's a selection of indispensable gadgets, including a mini oven and grill, sandwich toaster, electric tin opener, electric knife, electric toaster, food processor, coffee machine, junk kettle, and fizzy drinks maker. A brand new kitchen to make life easy, all yours if the price is right. Now then, David, what are you gonna do? Are you going to bid on that showcase or pass the honors to Tracy? I'll pass the honours to Tracy. You're going to pass the honours to Tracy. Good. Tracy, what is your bid without going over, Tracy, on what has now become your showcase? 1,650. Thank you very much. 1,650 pounds. Thank you, Tracy. David, we can now show you your showcase. It's time to sit back and relax with your showcase in these comfortable handmade steamer chairs crafted from British Elm. There's a matching table to go with them, and to get you in the right mood, a bottle of champagne, because you are going aboard the cruise ship Orient Express, sister to the famous train. <laughs> Say the words Orient Express, and you think of elegance and luxury. And that's what you get on this superb cruise on the MV Orient Express, a luxury cruise ship with swimming pools, sun decks, and all the trappings of ocean high life. There's a sauna and a gym. And for when you've worked up an appetite, superb cuisine in no fewer than three restaurants. There's nightlife too, including dancing to live music. And your itinerary on the Orient Express takes you to the Canary Islands and North Africa, to Tenerife, Madeira and Morocco, where the sun shines non-stop. Take your time on shore to explore busy cities and discover whitewashed fishing villages. Relax on a golden beach or watch the boats in the harbour bringing in the day's catch. You can even have a change from Hope Cuisine to sample local food grilled on an open fire. A week of unashamed luxury travelling to subtropical islands on a beautiful cruise ship and you can have it all if the price is right. Right, David. What is your bid without going over on your showcase? 2,450. 2,450 pounds, says David. Thank you very much indeed. Tracy, you bid 1,650 pounds on your showcase. The actual price of your showcase is uh, 1,916 pounds, a difference of 266 pounds. 
If you haven't bid over, David, your difference has to be less than 266 pounds. You bid 2,450 pounds on your showcase. The actual price of your showcase is 2,265 pounds. You're over. Tracy, you've done it. There we are. Excuse me if I may just get through. Oh. Well, well, well. My dear David, you've, you've really done rather well for a loser because although you've missed out on one holiday, you're actually already going to the holiday in Gambia. You've got the Chinese leather pillow box, the camera outfit and the suitcases, so you're all right, aren't you? Good lad. You, on the other hand, my dear. You've done very, very well indeed, because although you missed out on the most important and certainly the most expensive a prize in your major floor game. You have already got this chandelier you haven't got a clue what to do with. <laughs> the scales and the spice rack, but you won that entire kitchen outfit. It's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Delightful lady from Liverpool. And a fellow from Tidworth. And all of you out there, and you're going to join us next week, but once again, I'll be able to say to you, come on down, the price is right. <laughs> And just a reminder that tonight at 9 o'clock there's action with undercover cops Dempsey and Makepeace. and three hopeful fellas. My friends think I'm too bossy. What would your friends say is your most major fault? It's just my luck. I keep falling in love. My biggest fault is I keep falling in love with bossy women. <laughs> At eight, home to roost. Matthew's been skipping lectures, but his excuses get more far-fetched. He's had his whole term. I've often seen him struggling for breath. He's struggling for breath when I see him. <laughs> Saturday night entertainment on LWT. And next tonight on LWT, there's drama when the Bretts face a family crisis. Roll the camera. Check out the TV. Okay. Get ready, everybody. Action. Special guest. The new rechargeable Philly Shave with double action and charge level indicator. Philly Shave, the perfect performer. Iceberg is an alcohol-free German wine. Light, fresh and slightly sparkling. For anyone who needs to travel safely this Christmas. From the moment you're born, electricity is working for you in its own unique way. Shaping your life and the world around you, powering the latest advances in technology and science, along with countless ways of making life easier and more enjoyable. Everything from big screen entertainment and making a home to small screen reassurance and the making of memories. All through your life, electricity, energy for life.
keep it original. Lion's original. Leave after the morning rush with a day's freedom to travel all over Greater London on just one card. Catch up with old friends. Drop in on the family. Take a gander round the shops. Treat yourself to a show. Go home anytime. The new one-day capital card. Unlimited travel on London's trains, underground and buses. It gives you more power to swan around London. We're in the middle of rehearsals for my new show, You Bet. Now, if you're a pensioner, or getting on a bit, like me, you need this information pack from LWT Action, full of good advice on keeping warm this winter. It's also got a Christmas card signed by all the London weekend stars. So drop us a line to keep warm, Box 33, London SE1, 9LT. They're all here. Where's my name? Where's my name? Where is my name? We're watching LWT. Now Charles faces a libel suit in The Bretts. <laughs>